This is a Ramana Maharshi clip, a talk by Ramana Maharshi with comments by Richard Clark. This is a time to listen, reflect, and deeply meditate. I'm Richard. Welcome. I'm reviewing and commenting on the book Talks with Sri Ramana Maharshi. Today is talk number 42. Mr. Duncan Greenless Madapali wrote as follows. One has at times had vivid flashes of a consciousness whose center is outside the normal self and which seems to be inclusive. Without concerning the mind with philosophical concepts, how would Bhagavan advise us to work towards getting, retaining, and extending those flashes? Does abhyasa practice in such experience involve retirement? Sri Bhagavan answered, outside. For whom is inside or outside? They can be only so long as there are subject and object. For whom are these two again? They both will resolve into the subject only. See who is in the subject. The investigation leads you to pure consciousness without the subject. Normal self is the mind. The mind is with limitations, but pure consciousness is beyond limitations and reached by investigation as above outlined. Getting. The self is always there. One seeks to destroy the obstacles to the revelation of the self. Retaining. Having once gained the self, it will be understood to be here and now. It is never lost. Extending. There is no extending the self, for it is always without contraction or expansion. Retirement. Abiding in the self is solitude because there is nothing alien to the self. Retirement must be from one place to another. There is neither the one nor the other apart from the self. All being the self, retirement is impossible and inconsistent. Let's look into this profound dialogue. In this exchange, Mr. Duncan Greenless seeks guidance from Ramana Maharshi on how to attain and sustain moments of expanded consciousness without delving into complex philosophical concepts. Ramana's response is deeply rooted in the core principles of Advaita Vedanta. First, Ramana challenges the very notion of inside and outside. He points out that these distinctions only exist as long as there is a duality between the subject, the individual self, and the object, the external world. In Advaita, the goal is to transcend this duality and realize the oneness of the self and yourself. Ramana teaches to inquire into your nature, to question what seems to be your individual self and look for its source by asking, who am I? 
this investigation leads to direct knowledge of pure consciousness beyond the limitations of normal self or mind. Ramana refers to the normal self as the mind. This is how most people identify themselves with their thoughts, emotions, and personality. The mind is essentially a bundle of thought, and it's what we typically consider to be our self. He points out that the mind is limited. It is bound by thoughts, concepts, and conditioned thinking. This limitation leads to suffering as we identify with these fleeting thoughts and emotions. We think they are who we are, even though they're constantly changing. Ramana then talks about pure consciousness. This is the fundamental unchanging awareness that underlies all our thoughts and experiences. It's not limited by thought, time, or space. It is the essence of our true self. Ramana teaches that this pure consciousness can be realized through self-investigation or self-inquiry. Self-inquiry is a core practice. It involves asking, who am I? Or, what is the source of the I thought? Bhagavan emphasizes that the self is always present. It is not something to be acquired, but rather revealed by removing the obstacles that obstruct its realization. The self, once it's realized, is eternally present in the here and now. The self is never lost. It's only veiled by the mind's fluctuations. Ramana makes it clear that there is no need to extend the self because it's already infinite and boundless beyond the concepts of contraction or expansion. He also addresses the idea of retirement, often associated with seeking solitude or withdrawal. Bhagavan explains that abiding in the self is the true solitude because there's nothing external or alien to the self. In the ultimate reality, there is no distinction between one place and another. Everything is the self. Finally, Bhagavan sums it up by stating that abhyasa or practice is the investigation into the nature of the self. It is the continuous inquiry into your true nature and the realization that yourself and the self, vast and undisturbed, are one and the same. This dialogue encapsulates the core teachings of Ramana Maharshi the path to realization through self-inquiry, transcending duality and recognizing the eternal presence of the self. It is knowing the self by being the self. It's a profound and transformative teaching that invites you to explore the depths of your own consciousness. So inquire, know yourself, and be always free and at peace. These videos 
help bring Ramana Maharshi's teachings into your direct experience. Subscribe now 